In this video, I'll show you 20 of the most extraordinary rings I found on Timu, all for a total of just $47. Let's dive in and see if they're truly worth it. There's something special waiting for you. Yeah. The first ring I want to show you has an unusual design with additional inner rings, making it look bulky when worn. But once you realize it doubles as a fidget toy, it's not that bad. The seller on Timu also suggests it could be used as a necklace pendant, although I haven't tried this myself. Next up is a ring watch. Surprisingly, it actually works. It definitely looks unconventional on the finger, but who said watches can only be worn on the wrist? Rihanna once wore a watch as a necklace, though she had to use a mirror to check the time, I assume. The ring's quite versatile, fitting various finger sizes, and is priced at only $3. A far cry from Rihanna's $700,000 watch. But there's more to rings than just timekeeping. How about one that measures body temperature? The manufacturer says it's made of stainless steel, but it feels more like plastic. It only shows temperature in Celsius, and the readings are so off, it's as if I'm no longer among the living. Not much to expect for just a dollar, right? Let's leave it aside for now and see later if the temperature reading changes. I had high expectations for the next ring, a finger lighter. However, disappointment struck quickly. It looked like a real lighter in photos, but in reality, it's just a piece of metal. Nothing spins or presses, so it turned out to be quite a letdown on the finger. My disappointment quickly vanished with the next ring, a dragon-shaped design that brought a unique twist. It glows in the dark, which looks pretty cool, especially in a nightclub setting where it's sure to draw attention. Just be prepared to bring a powerful flashlight to recharge the ring with light periodically. And a heads up, taking it off can be quite the challenge. This ring is for those who like spiky things. The Timu seller described it as hip-hop style. Oh, I'm not sure that's quite accurate. The spikes themselves aren't very cheap, but they can definitely puncture some cans. That's how you want to go about opening cans. In the same badass accessory line, I found a ring that looks like a revolver cylinder. Cool, right? Not really, in my opinion. While the Russian roulette writing adds a nice touch, the fact that their finger can be seen through the holes is not appealing. And it'd be nice if the cylinder could spin. But if you and your partner want to dress up like Bonnie and Clyde, it might add a nice touch to your costume. Here's another ring that doubles as a fidget toy. The top part of the ring spins, so it can keep your fingers busy while adding some contrast to your outfits. I just wish the spinning lasted long. Now look at this ring. Obviously inspired by the Star Wars saga, featuring a black stone at its core, the design resembles an Imperial TIE fighter. It's made of metal and looks cool. Nice item for Star Wars fans. And this ring is inspired by another saga, which you've likely guessed, it's a silver ring of power, offering a less mainstream look than its golden counterpart, and it even glows in the dark. It can be an excellent addition to your Middle Earth themed costume. Just make sure this ring doesn't use its power over you. At first glance, it might not be immediately clear what this ring is all about. Resembling a bit of a helmet, it's actually a bottle opener. Beer lovers will definitely appreciate it. The next ring comes with a secret. Beyond its cool appearance, featuring a skull with red eyes, the skull actually opens to reveal a clock inside. Personally, I wouldn't buy it just for the clock, as mine stopped working quite quickly. They are quartz clocks, so the issue might be with the battery. The ring's adjustable, fitting any finger size. Overall, it's a fun item for just $3. Continuing with skulls, the next ring is shaped like dice, with skulls on the sides. It looked attractive in the pictures, and I hoped the dice would spin. That way I could at least test my intuition. Well, it turns out nothing spins, so it's just a decorative piece. Returning to the Lord of the Rings theme, we have the Eye of Sauron held by skeletal hands. The eye looks very cool. It's one of my favorite rings in appearance, but not in comfort. The ring's multi-sized, but hard to bend open, and I struggled a lot to take it off. My finger even turned to blue. It seems like the ring, true to its story, didn't want to leave its master. For Batman fans, there's this glow-in-the-dark ring with the iconic Batman emblem all around. It might not turn you into a superhero, but it'll definitely make you stand out in a dark space. The glow-in-the-dark rings are quite interesting. Just keep in mind that they need to be charged with direct light, and the glow doesn't last long. This ring is one of the most outlandish in today's assortment. It took me a while to figure out how it works, 
case you haven't guessed, it's a scorpion tail that's controllable. The ring consists of two parts worn on the finger, and when you bend your finger, the tail moves into an attacking stance. It looks quirky and highly unusual. Recognize this mask? Drop a comment if you know which movie character it belongs to. Let's see who the real horror movie buffs are. As for the ring itself, it's well-crafted from metal, making it a perfect fit for Halloween or any themed party. We're getting closer to the most anticipated boxes, and now we have a seemingly ordinary ring. There's more than meets the eye. It has a hidden compartment. Opening it's a bit of a puzzle, which we'll tackle with our scorpion tail ring. Guess what you can stash inside? Well, leave it to your imagination. Just a heads up, the lid isn't the sturdiest, so it's not the most secure hiding place. And now what everyone has been eagerly anticipating, it's time to discover what's inside these two boxes. Opening the first box, we find a silver ring that houses some sort of mechanism inside. Pressing the push button on the side causes a rather sharp blade to spring out. Let's check the second box. Inside there's a similar ring, only in gold. The mechanism functions crisply and the blade emerges quickly and without any issues. They're packaged in boxes to avoid accidental activation during transport. As for their use, while they can cut, they're not particularly powerful. I couldn't slice through a box with them. The seller markets these rings for self-defense, but I find they're more suited for cutting tape on packages. These are the most expensive rings in this video at $8 each. What do you think? Are they worth it? By the way, let's check back on the thermometer ring we left aside. It's now reading 34 degrees Celsius, up by 7 degrees from its initial reading. While it seems to work, I'd be cautious about trusting a $1 gadget with my health. 